What's up everyone for the Winitachi here you know what it is and thank you very much for tuning in now I don't know what episode number this is exactly but it's roughly around 40 to 45 So first of all, I just want to say for those of you tuning in every single epi- episode for those of you tuning in live right now is already released from the latest point up until now every single episode has been released now of course once you guys are seeing this live on my youtube channel and not tuning in during the live stream of course every episode will be released because then this will have been released i I release my episodes in order of course so for those of you tuning in first of all thank you all very much for basically being a part of my pokemon let's go walkthrough my pokemon let's go series this is possibly the this is hopefully i mean hopefully we beat the elite four today because that's all that's left and then we got post game content of course um which doesn't mean we're stopping playing pokemon let's go we've got probably tons and tons and tons of more live streams to come but i'm just saying when it comes to the main part of the game when it comes to the actual main storyline collecting the badges collecting pokemon going from town to town city to city route to route i didn't mean to do that but okay um going from all that type of stuff and now we've made it all the way from victory road to the elite four that's pretty much it get tons tons more after we've defeated the elite four so stay tuned but for those of you tuning in thank you very much for tuning in i hope you've enjoyed the series i hope you've enjoyed the shows uh again if you guys did enjoy it leave a thumbs up share the videos subscribe if you're new around here and smash the notification bell Uh, Because it does help a lot if you guys can like and share our uh, Pokemon Let's Go series. Because that shows me that you've enjoyed it. It'll get more people to tune in. And it'll show me as well from that point of view that most of you have enjoyed it. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, get into this. Where's my... There it is. Oh, it's on a weird angle. I hate when it's on a weird angle. But wake up, Eevee, because we're about to go ahead and take on the Elite Four. We're about to go smash it up, smash it in, let the smash begin. Let's go ahead and make sure you are ready and prepared. I'm going to go ahead and give you... Where can I find it? No, that's golden. That's golden, bam. We don't need golden. We need the regular. Yep. And we're ready. We're prepared. We're about to take on the Elite Four. So again, we got the fattest EV in all the games. I mean, literally the fattest EV ever. So pretty much my whole team is based around this EV. Hopefully we're good. Oh damn, this looks really cool. Let's go ahead and get straight into this. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta remember to do that before every single fight. I am now ready. I can't believe we've made it this far. Welcome to the Pokemon League. Oh, it looks like you finally made your way here. It sure took you a while though. It kind of did. Kinda, I kind of agree. Well then, allow me to introduce myself. I am Roy Lee of the Elite Four. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when you're frozen solid. That's because frozen Pokemon can't do a thing in battle. Ha ha ha, are you ready? No, because I don't have my fire type moves on this EV. So I'm actually kind of pissed. I'm not gonna do so well uh, against. I mean, you're not really ice type. You're, you're technically just a water type, Dugong. You're technically just a water type. Um, we, we we go all out. We go all out. BB Volt, always. BB Volley, sorry, BB Volt. That's just dumb. Two one shots. Oh, that was a crit. <laughs> I'm not happy anymore. <coughs> oh my gosh, Flareon to level 47. That might be bits. Are you actually going to summon a... Ice type? Oh, you are! I got it. I got to go. Alright, Flareon, do your thing. I mean, it's an actual... It's an actual ice type. So I got to get my fire type in. I did say it was all about Eevee, but I mean, I got five other Pokemon that I can sort of use. Might as well use them. I've avoided and I end up nailed the Fire Blast. It's not a one shot because I'm really low level, but it's okay. And my ICP is really trash. 
Oh, you're gonna bring out Lapras, you freaking big dude. Oh, slow bro. That's fine. Now that wasn't fine, bro. Go all out with the Hyper Beam. I'm not a fan of uh, withdrawing. So I felt like I was gonna die anyways. Might as well get some nukes. Might as well get the de Oh, I thought I was gonna die. Kill me, bro. Oh, I'm gonna recharge anyways. I'm gonna have to bring out Eevee. I mean, I'll, I think I have revives. I have full restores. For those of you that didn't tune into the last episode, I'm prepared. I'm prepared to just use Eevee, for the matter of fact. As you can see, it's level 73 and it's uh, got over 5.5k CT. It's really stupid. It's it's OP. And I'm not cheating. This I legit just leveled this Pokemon. Um, there's got to be something I need to try out here. It works. Good. That's what I wanted to see. So she's going to use Psychic. And then... Gonna heal it up. <clears throat> I can two shot. Oh no, you're not gonna heal up your Sobo. That's kind of confusing. Also, I believe in the Elite Four you can use your box Pokemon. So it's kind of cheap and it's kind of cheating. Because you don't have to go to the PC to withdraw and do all that type of stuff. You got an unlimited amount of Pokemon. And that's kind of lame. I don't want to do that. I want to beat this legit. Legit. Keep battling. I mean, my Eevee's not having a problem at all right now. Facing off against a Cloyster. I believe Batty Bad should still come in handy. Yep, it does. Okay, perfect. Hydro Pump. Oh, no. No, 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 no. That's a lot of damn damn. That's a lot of damn damn. Uh, Glitzy Glow would really, really, really help right now, mainly because of the fact that, uh, she's using a lot of special attacks. Glitzy Glow's, uh, puts up a wall between special attacks to make them pretty much do nothing. Alright, so Jinx is coming out. I'm just gonna keep going on. Uh, we're gonna say we're baddie bad. I mean, it's, it's doing right. I thought you forgot. Ethers. I kinda probably did a Dumbo. We're facing off against Lapis now, but maybe. Placer, Jinx, Dugong. The, the, the dude that I fought, now Lapis. Okay, I forget what the other one was. What was it? What was the other ice type? But for those of you tuning in, thank you very much for tuning in. Hit me up in the comment section if you guys got questions. Uh, Glitzy Glow, I want to reduce special attack damage. <clears throat> Lapis is a pure water type it's not gonna really not much is gonna happen here yeah hydro pump's gonna be trash thought the other hydro pump was trash look at this one Oof. this is kind of why i got glitzy glow and baddie bad though is because uh it boosts up the defensive of not just my ev but the rest of the team and also i do have my evolution brothers uh which also have the fire electric and water type capabilities which evie's better move choices are electric fire and water however i wanted to go ahead and mix it up a bit so i gave evie the other typing not what i wanted to see oh the crit too that's double crit in a row two times in a row Do they not heal in this game? That's not gonna kill it. Oh, it did. That's the first one, right? That's it? Dude, triple crit! What is this? That's a triple crit. I'm happy. That was a triple crit. I can't complain. That's only a taste. Like Tiger would say, fam. Only a taste. Alright, so we're facing off against Rock Boy here. I mean, not Rock Boy. Yeah, Rock Boy. Onyx and all that stuff. Um, so. We use Revive <clears throat> on Flareon. Full Restore as well on both of these two guys. And that pretty much tells... Wait. And that pretty much shows you guys that nothing happened in the first fight. <laughs> Uh, it's so not fair, but it is.
I feel like using it. I forgot I had these. I got these extra ones from, uh, what you call. Oh, health candy. Eevee doesn't even benefit from it anymore. Alright, Flareon was my second highest, so. Might as well boost you up. You know what? Uh, let's go ahead and use that then on Vaporeon. Gotta make my team as strong as possible, fam. Like, look at that. Eevee needs 18 of these just to get one one boost because that's how OP. So, Flareon's my second highest at 1900. My Eevee's at, like, 5.5. Not even fair. Alright, so this is all looking good. Um... Sadly, I'm not using any of those guys. Nope, didn't mean to click that. So the candy jar is done. Got a lot of Pokemon to capture, which we completed the Elite Four, so post game we got some action. Do I? I can use the fire sound. <laughs> no, I, I would never do that, ever. Yo, how's it going? Just picked up this game. What's up, Zyathel? And congratulations on picking up one of the best games ever. I absolutely enjoy it. Ah, uh, let's go ahead and save, just because, I mean, it's just something I I was used to doing back in the day. Alright, Bruno. You going down, fam. My final episode of the main storyline. How the hell did he... How, who, how do you, how do people sit like that? I, I probably when I was a little kid, I was able to do that, but... Well, no, I could sit like that, but like... Standing up straight and a boom, plopping down. Alright, so sadly again, Eevee doesn't have the water type moves, but... What's the next best... thing? What's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. Freezy Frost coming in for the win. I think this is going to be the cheap... This guy was always the weakest of the four. This guy was always dead weight of the four. They, they made so much hype about him in... Uh, I forgot, he has a polyrath. They made so much hype about this guy in uh, the anime. Where Brock and Ash used to go check him out and all that stuff. We're going to glitzy glow on this one. Because he's got fighting type. Huh. Suck it. <laughs> this Eevee's too good, dude. It's critting, it just avoids things. Oh, this Eevee's gonna solo the Elite Four, man. This is funny. I knew I didn't need a team. Well, I hope I don't need a team. What's funny is... I'm gonna keep Eevee. What's funny is these guys are easier than like some of the trainers. Like Some of the ace trainers and coaches are harder. Than these guys. Glitzy Glow. I haven't seen him a champ in this game, I don't think, yet, so. Pokedex, cooking. Ow! Oh, damn, okay, I see how it is. Hitting me with some L's, Major King. Don't make me use the rest of my team, fam. What sucks is I don't have any ethers. I was stupid not to get some PP moves. Or items, sorry, not moves. <clears throat> so I might run out. Dude, it's level 74. Alright, hit me up. CP 5159. Like, this is. It's now at 5286. It's pure jokes, fam. It's pure jokes. This thing's fat. <laughs> it's so good. Alright, you're a fighting type guy, man, but you got that rock in you. <laughs> Eevee being a normal type is just, uh, just kind of bad. But for those of you tuning in, thank you very much for tuning in. If you have enjoyed the Pokemon Let's Go series, Post down in the comment section down below. It means a lot to me if you can also like and share our videos and also subscribe if you haven't done so. And let all of your friends know. Recently, 
I've just posted twice on my community posts um, on my channel, which you can find my community tab. And I'm currently asking you guys to go ahead and help me out for next week's schedule for live streaming. What do you guys want to see more of? Because I'm really, really hoping to grow this channel. Uh, so if you guys can go ahead and spread the word on that and check that out and leave a comment there, much appreciated because I'm looking to go ahead and play more games that you guys are interested in seeing. So uh, post your suggestions on one of those two community posts. And also, uh, stay tuned this weekend because I got another announcement coming in. It's in related to my website, because if you guys go ahead and click on my website link in the description box, it won't work because I currently just put it on hold, and I currently have it deleted. It'll be back up, though. So what is your final Pokemon going to be? I've already used Onyx. Onyx is like your team. Like, he's known for Onyx. I mean, he's a fighting type guy, but he's known for Onyx. That's it? I didn't- I don't even remember fighting five Pokemon, but whatever, but okay. That was easy. I knew he was trash, but come on, fam. Can't be that bad. Alright, what's great is this one. My Eevee can destroy this one. Alright, uh, so bag it up, bag it in, let the bags begin. That's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to my medicine cabinets. I mean, I don't really need to use it, but I want to go in full force, so. And don't forget to save. This has been great so far. 22 hours I've played. Now beat this game in less than one day. Sweet. Alright, so she's got ghost type Pokemon. So, I should be fine. I mean, it, yeah, I should be fine because I'm a normal type Pokemon, so I don't have to worry about it. It's not like I'm playing on an out exam and I'd take some else. So, my psychic type ability should be fine here. Again, she has ghost type Pokemon, but she also deals with uh, the poison side as well. But Glitzy Glow is going to do some bits. It's going to negate a lot of damage that she's going to output. So that's also a key thing. So I'm paralyzed. So she's going to deal a lot of uh, special damage. And pretty much Glitzy Glow negates it. It doesn't fully negate... Oh, I'm almost out of PP on Glitzy Glow. This is the only real fight that I needed Glitzy Glow for. So we're fine. Probably shouldn't have used it too much in the first, uh, the Ice Lady, but... Got four more to fight here, and... Okay, perfect. So she's send sending out one of her Gengars. So hopefully we can go ahead and use this Glitzy Glow to do enough damage... ...to two-shot it. I'm, I can't get poisoned. I'd rather be uh, paralyzed and poisoned any day. Uh, just because I don't have that many glitzy glows, I'm gonna go ahead and sparkly swirl. They don't heal up, do they? Yeah, they don't heal up in the Elite Force. That's good. Close to close to fainting, so I might as well uh, sparkly swirl on that. Cured of the para paralysis because of that move, which is also great. Considering you're supposed to be a ghost type Pokemon trainer. Huge fan of the poison types. What's up, Dusk Cinder? Thank you very much for watching. Alright, Glitzy Glow back at it again. I haven't been able to one shot one of you guys yet. Oh, thank you so much, Eevee, for avoiding that. Again, uh, Sparkly Swirl because my fairy type move is not going to do too much in this Elite Four. Back in the day, Gen 1, it wasn't too much. I thought she was just Poison type. Well, she was, but I mean, she's a Gengar. And that's her key Pokemon, so. I always relay her to. I mean, her Gengar does no Poison type move, but. I always. Re oh, she has two Gengars. Yeah, I was correct. I always relay, rely her to being a Ghost type Pokemon trainer. But look around you, I mean, you get the poison gas, so she's a poison and ghost head, so. Or it could be 
ghostly shadows and nether poison, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it does, well, all that matters is she's done. Uh, Sludge Bomb not going to do too much here. What's up, Mayor Laura Moon? Again, thank you very much for watching. Also, back in Gen 1, there wasn't that many poison types. So, yeah, Gengar being ghost and poison was like her thing. Yeah, Sparkly Swole should do it. Gengar is part poison, that's why Psychic is super effective. Yeah, I know. Oh, Vaporeon leveling up here. I need to get this Porygon over past level 40, then I know I've got some bits. Alright, so she's gonna finish it off with a Golbat. Let's go ahead and, uh... Keep my Glitzy Glow at 1 and start using some Freezy Frost here. Because I never know if I might need a Psychic type move in the near future, so yeah. Well, I like to watch Pokemon and Dojo can deal without me. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's do Sparkly Swirl. I mean, Sparkly Swirl is like my most... It's my favorite move, but it's the most useless move when it comes to the Elite Four Challenge. <clears throat> What's going to confuse me is, so you usually battle your rival, because the rival supposedly beats everything before you. I'm skeptical on my rival being able to beat the Elite Four. The, the, the rival in this game, I'm skeptical on him being able to do that. It's just like, it's not going to, it's not going to make sense. It, it won't make sense at all. So, full restore. None of my Pokemon have pretty much done anything except Eevee. I think I overpurchased uh, full resources and revives. Uh, that's why Gen 1 has the weakest Pokemon. Most Gen 1 got better in later generations. So th that is true because they ended up bringing out too many OP Pokemon, so they had to boost Gen 1. Gen 1 technically wasn't the weakest. It was just back then they had to they had to revamp it, so make it a little bit like a little bit more even. Alright, so, facing off against Jaboy. This guy used to be my favorite trainer back in the day. Because he has all the dragon types. I'm a huge fan of dragon type Pokemon. Dragons, fairies, and fire types. My top three typings in this uh, franchise. Wish me luck, everybody. Let's try to get this one done. And then see what happens after. Alright, so facing off against, uh, you know what, let's, let's use Glitzy Glow, get the special attack out of the way, special attack, damn damn, so you're using, that. oh, what? I avoided it anyways, they added a few types later and a lot of attacks, that is definitely true, so they had to balance out the game, which is why stats change on a lot of Pokemon, especially older generations. Otherwise, if they kept it the same, it wouldn't wouldn't work. <laughs> so special attacks and physical attacks aren't going to do too much to me. Uh, Aerodactyl was about to take a huge L. Mainly because of the fact of its typings and Breezy Frost just being OP against it. I was actually hoping for a one shot. Again, nothing is. This EV solo the Elite Four. I told you, this is the fattest EV ever. It's just so good. This EV is so fat. It's CP beats anything in my uh, Pokemon Go squad. It's it's unreal. Oh man, EV, you're too good. You're just too good. Alright, so next up we got a Gyarados. Sadly, Gyarados isn't really a Dragon Dive Pokemon. Uh, so, how do we wanna. You know what? Let's see how much damage Sparkly Swole does while we're in this phase where attacks aren't gonna deal too much damage to me. 
So it, uh, it deals about 20%. I've never seen waterfall in this game. It actually looked cool, but it didn't do anything. Batty bad, here we go. Batty bad does more damage. I already know that. Oh, it was about the same. Alright, hyper beam. So I'm going to have two attacks. So what's great is I still got the wall of uh, defenses. So I'm not taking any damage from that. So let's just go ahead and uh, sparkly swirl twice on this one. Keep my baddie bad for later. Well, similar with many anime shows, they don't set real limits, so they sometimes have to redo. Oh, definitely. There's like a lot of PvP games. There's a lot of balance to work out. Right, so I believe we're facing up against two Dragonite. Oh, whoa, 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 When did he have a char- He never- did he- He never had a Charizard. I believe he's gonna Mega Evolution on this. He never had a Charizard in Gen 1. I know that for a fact. I could be wrong. I'm thinking about it, and I could be wrong. No, I'll keep battling. I don't remember him having a Charizard, though. Charizard was never looked at to uh, being a dragon type. Um, baddie bad first. Alright, hyper beam. Perfect. Still have my wall up, so it's still not going to do too much damage. So, two attacks. Let's just go with two baddie bads and we're good to go. But for those of you tuning in, again, don't forget to subscribe if you're new around here. Like and share our live streams and videos. It means a lot because I'm, I want, well, by the end of 2018, I wanted to hit 10,000 subs. And I'm really far away from that. But, uh, since I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to hit 10,000 subs. So let's try to get as close as we can to that because once we hit 10,000 subs, there's something I want to it. There's something going to be announcing before if we hit, if we get close to it, I will be announcing something that you guys would probably really be super hyped about. Basically, 10,000 subs means YouTube all the time, full time. Dragonite, here we go. Congratulations on your Lola Marowak, by the way. So, uh, Freezy Frost, Dragon type. Peace out. <laughs> Uh, I don't understand really why dragons don't like ice. I mean, I know they fly, don't get me wrong, but not all dragons are flying types. They usually levitate of some sort. I guess they just don't like the cold weather. The Ghost Fire Mix is really, oh, it definitely is. It's really good. It's really powerful. Alright. I am now the Pokemon Elite Champion. Or you would have been, but you have one more challenge left. It can't be him, man. Please be Professor Oak. Oh, they, they actually got me. They actually got me. However, my, the rival in this game is so trash. It's so trash, fam. I don't think you guys understand how bad your rival- This is probably the worst rival you've ever gotten. He doesn't- He doesn't know anything. He can't do anything. He's so lame. How did he beat the Elite Four? I can see him getting his eight badges, but... Technically, the Elite Four was really easy in this, so I, I, I'm not gonna lie. The Elite Four was really easy in this game. He's trying to look cool here, and then he turns around and it's like, bro. Look at that guy.
I don't think I saved the game. But guess what? It don't matter. Because I'm the champion in this town. My name's Full of Winitachi. All I do is win, win, win no matter what, bro. You about to take an L. Ask Ketchum? No, Ash Ketchum's cool. But this rival, he, he, he doesn't compare to Gary Oak at all. He doesn't compare to Blue at all. This guy's like... I don't even know what he is. He's just so bad. Oh, he's got five Pokemon this time. Cool, you finally caught enough Pokemon to do something. Wait, what the fuck? Why? Why are you mega evolution me on me, fam? Why are you mega evolving your Pidgeot, my bro? Aw, oh, man. A Pidgeon? What are you talking about? You mean Pidgeot. You got Mega Evolution Pidgeot. Like, seriously. I like Mega Evolution Pidgeot, though. It looks pretty cool. Vile Plume. Oh my gosh, more Pokemon that I can one shot. Sorry, I thought he was a Pidgeon. What's a Pidgeon? What are you talking about? I'm confused. What is a Pidgeon? Are we are we talking about some uh what do they call that thing? Digimon thing? Digimon, right? Yeah, Digimon it is. Is Pidgeon some Digimon I don't know, monster? I don't know what they call him in that show. Or is Pidgeon Pidgeotto in a different language? Like, I don't know if they, they might they might have changed the name, I don't know. Marowak. Oh, please, you know, I bet you, you don't have a role with Marowak, bro. Yeah, that's what I thought, because you got the Q-Bone from Lavender Town. Dude, Freezy Frost is all over this guy. Sorry, I mostly know the German names that put it. I apologize. No, that's fine, bro. That's fine. Um, because I was starting to think Pidgeon. That sounds about right. But I assumed it was a different, uh, a different language. That's fine. Pidgeot. No, no, no. Yeah, I got. I, I, I understood what you mean. Thank you for clarifying it. I figured it out. <laughs> I didn't know what language it was, so I was like, that's gotta be, because it's so close to the actual name, it's gotta be just a different language. Oh, Porygon, you were so close to 40, bro. You didn't do anything for me, but you're so close to level 40. All right, well, the one Pokemon I cannot use Freezy Frost on. So I'm assuming you're German then. Do you live in Germany? That'd be pretty hyped to know. Got some viewers from Germany. My Little Pony. <laughs> yeah, rapid ass. Oh wait, what? No, this guy's cheating. He's healing this Pokemon. The Elite Four don't heal, bro. You're supposed to be the the champion. You don't heal. Oh my gosh, you live in okay, so Germany. Uh I see. Well, I love German soccer, let's put it that way. My whole life outside of this, for, for, if you don't know, it's just all soccer or football. Uh Oh my gosh, it's in the morning over there. 8.44 in the morning, right? Yeah. Because you're nine hours ahead. I'm from uh, Wales. North of you. I don't live there anymore. I live in uh, Los Angeles, but... I'm from Wales. That's where I was born. Um, I'm going to hype it up in Sparkly Swirl because it's my favorite move and that's just how I do. Oh, 
Oh, what? You actually got the thunder off. That's not nice. Oh no, my reflect actually wore off too. Uh, let's get my last baddie bat out. This is the last Pokemon I have to face off. Again. Kind of sad. I thought this was actually going to be really difficult. You guys saw... Hey, look at this, look at this, look at this. One max revive, 34 full resource, and 24 revives. I used one revive. And just a few full resource. Well, now that the United Kingdom leaves the EU, there is hardly a reason to return. <laughs> That's true. Can I get one freeze off? I don't think you can freeze with this move. So crazy. I've always wanted to go to Germany. Like, if I can hit 10,000 subs, it, it, th this YouTube channel is going to fly. How many full restores do you got, bro? You, don't tell me you stacked like me. I'm a huge fan of the Sidemen. I don't know if you know them, but they're big in the UK. Like, they're, they're like go-to watch on YouTube. Oh, Germany is absolutely amazing. I've always wanted to go to Gamescom. Very close by. Well, I mean, it's in Germany. But close by to Hanover. Wait, I have one... I have one HP. We're going Freezy Frost. I think I won, and I just, I don't even think I won. I don't feel like I've won anything. I actually grew up, we've maxed it out to 75. We got to level 75, yay. Jolt's on to 45. Oh wait, no, he's not done, he's got a slow bro. I thought I was done. I thought he would finish off on his uh, Raichu. I mean, I've defeated a Slowbro already, so this isn't going to be fun. Let's go ahead and heal up. See, I can ma I can full restore too, bro. Oh, Surf, really? I, I, I just don't feel like I've won anything. At least your EV got some experience. It did. It did. It actually got two levels, I believe. I only have three moves. We're gonna start with Freezy Frost. It's not effective, I know, but it's... I don't have any moves, so I just thought I would try to freeze him, but it didn't work, so... This might be bad. I'm gonna have to struggle. That's the one thing I forgot, is at ethers. Or elixirs. If I can get my moves back, but... I guess we could. Oh no, light screen. Oh, this is bad. How did he know I was gonna have to struggle? He should have made a slow king. He should have. I mean, that would have been cool in this game, but that technically slow king wasn't out in Generation One though. So technically. Doesn't have the ability to get to the the king, the king, whatever it is. I forget the item. King's head or the whatever it's called. I avoided it. I think Eevee's gonna struggle and win this. Oh, he has a full restore again. All right, let's 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 sit back. Let's sit back and. Sadly, well, these full resources are definitely coming in handy now. I kind of feel like using my other Pokemon. Just to see what would happen, see if I can do some bits with them. I just don't take any. You know what? Let's do it. Let's go. Um, Pokemon. Uh, Flareon's my 
weakest. I kind of want to use my... I want to use my, uh... Porygon and Ditto. Because I've never used them. The only reason why I'm sending out Fla... How'd you know I was going to bring out Flareon? The only reason why I brought out Flareon was to, uh... So when I bring out my weaker Pokemon, they don't just get one shot when I bring them in. Alright, so let's start off with Porygon. Because being able to throw out a Toxic on this Slowbro would be really nice. Technically not, but since you only need this crown to make a slow king, it would have been nice to get a Pokemon out of Gen 1 in the final match. That That is true. I like your thinking. Uh, survive this please. I know you're really low level. Yay, you survived it. You can get Toxic off. I can't believe I'm using a Porygon and a Ditto. That's just out of the ordinary for me. The only reason why I brought them is because I've never used them. Protect. I can use protect. <laughs> oh, this is such a troll. Similar to an Eevee Lucian from Gen 2. Uh, let's see. I started protecting myself. You can take more damage. Porygon, you did more than I thought you would. You weren't gonna level anyways. Can I go first? Aww. Couldn't get that rest off. The edges on Porygon in this game look really good. Oh, I have to. No, I have to use Ditto. I was going to use Jolteon and finish it off because I know I can finish it off right now. Because the, uh, the, the poison is doing too much damage. I'm just... I'm, I feel he's going to use the full restore again. Ha! I'm a water type. You can't do anything. Oh wait, that still deals a lot of damage. My Porygon killed it! <laughs> my Porygon just killed the Slowbro. I can't wait to get my Porygon Z in Pokemon Go. I agree. Porygon... I, Porygon... Oh, that is so cool. Porygon just beat the Slowbro. My weakest Pokemon just beat the hardest Pokemon in the game. That is insane. My Porygon just went. I mean, technically Eevee did all the work, but Porygon was the one that did it. I just beat the game and I just don't feel like I've done anything. So I gotta do your Pokedex now, right? Post-game stuff? Post-game things? Uh, I got a lot of post-game stuff to do, guys. I know. And I'm actually looking forward to it. Usually, I don't look forward to post-game stuff in Pokemon, but this one, this game specifically, I've been looking forward to it. Well, at least the rival's nice, unlike Gary Oak. Also, I chose Porygon. I want to see what my picture's going to look like. Oh yeah, I got the blue. I can take a picture of it. On my Switch. Two slow bros facing each other. Looks like the most... <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun to watch. Post-game cinematic. Eevee, level 75. Fattest Eevee ever. Clarion, level 48. Vaporeon, level 47. Jolteon, level 45. Ditto, level 44. And Porygon, the one that actually won this for me at level 31. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. My Eeveelutions. Where's Eevee? Oh, Eevee's on top of my head. That's the most oddest, it's the most odd team I've ever seen. Such a weird team I chose. 
I'm glad I had fun with it though. I had an absolute... That's it? Oh, I didn't get to take my picture. I thought he was gonna let me take a picture. Porygon, the next for your shoulder. Yes, I'm gonna be bringing it out. I'm hype. But that is it. Uh, this was the last episode of our walkthrough for Pokemon Let's Go. And our last live stream for Pokemon Let's Go for the main content of this game. We now move on to post-game content in Pokemon Let's Go. So we still got tons of live streams and tons of episodes and videos to release. So stay tuned for those. Uh, but we have completed the game. Uh, we just, of course, I'm clicking a bunch of buttons to try to skip this end game cinematics. But you never can. It is better than Ditto. <laughs> Ditto actually did pretty good too. But uh, while this is going on, it gives me time to talk and say a couple of things before I end this la this series and close this uh, walkthrough out. For those of you tuning in, again, it is almost the end of 2019. Uh, it has been a wonderful year. And uh, this is the latest game we have brought to the channel, and I hope you guys have enjoyed uh, some of the episodes if you've tuned in to uh, the series and the live streams for Pokemon Let's Go. Uh, what else do we got? Uh, in the description box, we do have a subscriber giveaway, and the next giveaway is at 2,000 subs. So go ahead and subscribe if you're new around here. And of course, if you can also help, uh, share, like, and comment on our videos it actually boosts like brings my videos up to the top when people search for stuff end of 20 no the the end of 2018 going into 2019 i hope i didn't say end of 2019 <laughs> the end of 2018 going into 2019 almost 2019 so yeah basically let's hit 2000 subs as quickly as possible if you can just go ahead and let your friends know uh let anyone know actually and tell them to subscribe because they're missing out uh in the description box you will see an about section and at the moment my website is down um i will be bringing it back up this weekend i have absolute I've, i'm going to be deleting my current website and renewing my website into a different way so i hope you guys no i did and you didn't miss a year <laughs> i almost missed a year and then uh with that website uh, it will be the same URL, but uh, it's going to be different. It's, it's going to be brand new. I hope you guys like it. I will announce it on my community tab this weekend, so stay tuned for that. Donations and all that information can be found down below, but I don't require that at all. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and support, the best thing you can do is subscribe. That's the number one thing. Uh, you can check out our social media down below along with our sponsors. And of course, our schedule. We have two channels, so we got a brand new one. But of course, I really want to focus on this one and get my subscribers up. And we have finally completed the outro cinematics. So here we go. Let's see what we got. Back in Pallet Town. This is cool. They did a great job with this game. I cannot complain one bit. That's it. I'm sad. But that is not it. We've got so much more to do now. We got a lot more to do. But it will start next time when we come back. And we'll actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're going to be, uh, We'll go ahead and play Pokemon Let's Go tomorrow. We'll start post-game content tomorrow night. So for those of you that tuned in today, thank you very much for tuning in. I will be re-releasing this tomorrow. Um, I will go ahead and craft this last episode and get it out of the way and get it out to you guys. But for those of you that tuned in live, thank you very much. Let's go Pikachu. Um, I'm, I'm down for uh, playing that. I got some ideas with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, making it a little bit different than this walkthrough series. But uh, if you want to go ahead and suggest me to play that game, go ahead and post it in my community forums or my community 
uh, tab on my YouTube channel would mean a lot. But for those of you that tuned in tonight, thank you. Uh, I will see you all tomorrow. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit 2,000 subs, fam. Peace.